Hey traders, so welcome back to the weekly market analysis with the Sharks. So over here, you can see that um, we have our page and for those who are not in our free channel right now, you can actually view us on TradingView and look at this um, free uh, Telegram channel over here. So moving on, we will start off today with ACAT and you can see that we marked out this zone on the 4-hour time frame. You can see this is a clear demand zone. And over here, we have what it is called as an imbalance. So this is the fair value gap where prices, where there isn't any um, free or equal participation over here. And over here, if you look right, you can see that prices try to move off after tapping the imbalance. So it did feel the imbalance eventually. And we didn't see any kind of a reversal pattern from here. And that is why we are waiting for prices to tap into our demand zone. So if you go down to the hourly time frame, this is the creation of liquidity. So you can see those are being taken out, those are being taken out, and over here. And this last dip over here is where those are being taken out as well. So what can we expect from here? We want to see a structural shift. So it depends on you. You can actually wait for a break of this and catch a small move towards potentially this level or this level. Otherwise, you are to, if you are to trade on the high time frame and you are looking for a complete potential reversal from here, then you wait for a breakout of this low that created the high. So what we're going to see here would be a structural shift. So over here, you can expect more accumulation going on. You can expect a move like this, creating this sort of a pattern to, uh, to lure traders to participate you know, in and out of this range. All right. And ultimately, what we're going to see is a breakout out of this level and usually these breakout should be an uh, impulse one there should be imbalances inside and in the imbalances you can realize that you should have an order block left unmitigated right on the four hour or on the one hour or on the lower time frame so let's say we have uh we have an order block over here and this is where we can look for a pullback or a sell all right over here so we'll be monitoring this and for those traders who are able to look deeper into this so let's say you go down to the five minutes time frame and inside of here you can actually look for another pattern so let's bring it down over here we mentioned this before so this is the order block left unmitigated right so let me just note it down this is the demand zone and as prices approaches this level we can look for the same formation with a tighter stop loss over here or maybe over here so it depends on how you want to manage the trade right so the next pair we're going to talk about would be the aussie chf we can see a demand zone over here that was unmitigated previously and now mitigated right so this wasn't mitigated and this was mitigated right now so this means that we are at a demand zone where we are at an area of interest so we're going to see why big prices turn from here all right why did we see a move down initially followed by a, a potential accumulation with equal lows right so when we look left let's mark out this one okay and we see what we have over here so we have a supply zone you can see that this is the last up move that broke out of ice before the down move so this is a demand zone that was left unmitigated so you see over here we have a gap right so we can even refine it further to this so let's see whether it touches so we pull to the right and you can see it clearly got rejected over here so this would be our supply zone both are will be our supply zone right one is refined and one is um the whole move right so as prices breaks down and gives us this uh, shift in momentum or shift in the structure right breaking out trend lines and all this is the creation of liquidity so this may be an accumulation stage for prices to push further towards this level to clear all of these highs before breaking down or we can actually just aim for this supply zone over here so this is the most immediate supply zone that broke out of structure so this is the up move to the down move that wasn't mitigated yet and broke structure right so um, there is a chance or there is a possibility that prices will move into this level clear these equal highs grab the liquidity over here 
at before our secondary move down. So our trade idea over here is to catch along towards this level before potentially selling here, right? So let's jump down to the hourly time frame. So this is supply. So on the hourly time frame, you can see that there are lots of lows, the creation of lows being taken out. And over here we have the last, as of now, we have the last uh, low created that got taken out. And we will need a shift in momentum. So we will need a structural shift, maybe another dip down before a strong breakout. Or maybe prices may just leap off from here, right? So we may see a move like this. Clearing this high, shift in momentum, breaking out of structure before a down move to catch a pullback for a long, right? So let me just draw it out. You may see a push up towards this level uh, got mitigated over here before push down into an order block or maybe an unmitigated area before breakout. So this clears the high and this shows that prices wants to shift, right? So in the retail trading methodology, this is a breakout of the trend line and we have more uh, areas to buy from. We can actually buy from an order block over here or maybe an order block over here. So whichever, right? Just to aim towards this level. And inside of here to sell, we will need to wait for a schematic, maybe some sort of a move like this, right? Then tap into an unmitigated area before a breakdown. And where do we aim? Logically, we will aim for this level again because prices, uh, people may want to take profit at this zone, right? And maybe see an eventual breakdown from here. So next up, we have the cat yen. You can see that we have this huge um, schematic over here, right? Bio Wyckoff. So over here, we have a supply zone on a daily. This is the last up move that broke out of highs, grabbed them before a down move that broke out of structure, right? So when you look to the right as of current prices, you can see that we are currently in this supply zone, right? So let's jump down to the hourly time frame and see what's going on. So over here, you can see there's so many um, naming convention, right? So this is just the typical Y call. So there are many Y call schematics you can see inside here. And whether you trade them or not, is it doesn't matter because this is just the creation of liquidity. And by naming it, it kind of makes sense, right? So over here, it changes when we have a shift in structure. You can clearly see this is a strong impulse move that broke out of this range, right? So we have a strong breakdown that broke out of the low that created the high, right? So this is the major move. This is the low that created the high. So as prices breaks this level, we can expect a move back into this supply zone. So this is a supply zone if you go down to the lower time frame. You can see this clearly, the up move before the down move that broke out of structure, right? So over here this week, actually mitigated or liquidated these levels over here. Yeah. And this is why we marked up this zone. And if you bring it over to now, as of current prices, we are expecting a move down. Okay. So are we going to participate in this trade? You can catch a lower time frame trade over here. If prices creates equal lows here, right? So let's say you see a bounce before a break. You can actually aim for a lower time frame opportunity towards maybe one of these levels over here to take profit or here. Otherwise, just wait for a clean breakdown over here. And if prices manage to break this level, then it's easy for us to go for shots and we'll just clear uh, the orders denying beneath all of these levels. All right. We can actually just aim for these areas over here. And maybe this. Yep. So this will be a two major levels. We'll be taking profit if prices breaks down from here and give us a pullback into unmitigated areas to take them off here. So the next pair we have would be the CHF JPY. You can see that we mark out this um, supply zone. And when we look at our current prices, we are at this supply, right? So this is our price of interest. So going down to the hourly time frame, we are looking at multiple rejections from this area from our supply zone and we are only participating this if we see a breakdown of this level right so we're going to see a major breakdown of this structure via an impulse move leaving behind imbalances as well as all the blocks or unmitigated areas 
for prices to pull back before a down move. So our first target will definitely be at this level. Can you see this is also a demand zone? We have the last down move before the up move that broke out of these lows, right? So this is a liquidation of these levels, potentially trapping traders to sell inside this breakdown retest, right? So on the lower time frame, this is a breakdown retest into support and resistance to sell off. And instead of doing that, prices completely turn, as well as breaking structure. So this is a demand zone that we'll be looking towards. And if we were to sell, definitely taking profits here first, right? So this is our range. Let's say we see a breakdown of uh, this level. Okay, so we see something like this. Whatever happens here, then we see an impulse that breaks down. So we want to see a pullback maybe towards this unmitigated area if there is before a sell off into this level. So it depends on what happens here before we extend our targets, right? Maybe towards this level. So prices may find some kind of a rejection over here. Maybe it does something like this. Then we will buy off here and aim towards the next unmitigated area, maybe here or tapping towards this zone again to do another uh, accumulation to redistribution, right? So we'll see what happens here. And this is our current trade idea. We'll be waiting for a breakdown of this level. Okay. And then wait for unmitigated areas lying above these levels before taking a sell towards this last demand zone over here. Next up, we have the Euro cat. So let's start off from the weekly. You can clearly see prices broke out this uh, like falling wedge pattern. And right now we have prices at our demand level. So you can see this demand zone. So we have two, right? This is the strong or the overall demand zone. And this is the refined demand zone, right? So what does this mean? Prices may easily move off from here, tapping into this supply zone or this supply zone. So let's just say prices taps into this uh, supply zone and comes back down eventually to mitigate this last area before I move off into this major supply zone. Then uh, we'll see what happens from there. Maybe prices will break through or find some sign of a reversal over here before a breakdown. So with this impulse move, we are likely to be upside bias or buy side bias, at least when prices reaches deeper into our demand zone. So if you do drop down to the hourly time frame, we have to look at the range, right? You want to see how much can we buy from or sell from, all right? So over here, you can see that we have a demand zone here left unmitigated by this area. So what are we expecting? We're expecting prices to um, tap into this zone, right? So can you see that we have a strong sell side move and prices are moving sideways now? So this may be the creation of the liquidity for prices to break down into this zone. So we may see a move like this before we can actually potentially take this trade. So if we, we need a shift in structure as prices step into this zone, a pullback or a slow climb into an unmitigated area before we can take a buy, right? And we can aim for these levels over here. We can aim for these highs, these highs or these highs, right? And you can clearly see that we have a demand zone, we have a supply zone here. So let's just go to the four hour time frame. You can see that we have a supply zone here. All right. So prices are likely to move towards this area before a breakdown, right? Or we can actually see that um, unless prices actually want to touch into this whole up move over here. So we will mark the whole zone as a supply zone, right? And once prices taps into this level, we can expect a move down into this H4 demand zone, all right, before a potential move up upon a break of structure. So remember just now when I drew the schematic over here, we want to see a creation of liquidity tap into this zone, a break of structure, shift in momentum, pull back, then buy, right? So this will be what we're looking for. Ultimately tapping into this zone, right? And prices are likely to tap into this supply zone before a move down. And we'll see if we get a reversal pattern over here. Otherwise, we'll aim for this level, right? So we'll just take note and monitor closely. The next pair that I'll be talking about would be Euro and ZD. Can you see that on the daily time frame we have this move over here? We have prices tapping into this level before a move out there broke out of structure over here. So let me just zoom in for you. 
I just tap into this zone, demand zone, broke out of structure, and where do you think prices are likely to move towards? We are likely to move towards this supply zone, correct? So this is a supply zone that was left unmitigated, right? And there is imbalances inside of here as well. So there is a high possibility that prices are coming back to visit this level before we see the next major move. Whether it's a continuation of this level or a distribution down, right? So if you look at why prices taps away from here, why do we see such a strong move? It's because over here, we have a we have an order block that was left unmediated, right? So similarly, we have imbalances inside of here. So this is an impulse move that left behind an unmitigated area that broke out of structure, right? So we see an institutional change, a huge move followed by a continuation move. So now, if we look at current prices, we have a demand zone over here. We have a demand zone that broke out of structure as well. So on the daily time frame, we can see that there isn't any unmediated area. And we drop down to the hourly time frame. So over here, you can see that we have a down move before an up move that broke out of structure. So can you see this down move actually took out these levels over here? So it grabbed the liquidity line beneath these levels and it even created this last low over here, right? Before the liquidation of them, before a breakout. So this move actually left behind an unmitigated area. So can you see over here we have a demand zone? That was left unmitigated. So this strong move actually broke out of structure over here. Okay. And now moving sideways, right? So this is a move down that broke out of structure as well. And what are we likely to see? We are likely to see prices making a push down, right? So let's say we have an area over here. So this whole up move to down move is actually an order block, right? Which came back to mitigate as of current prices now. So we are likely to see a move down towards this level. So can you see over here we have another demand zone? But it's a small one, right? This isn't even count as a pullback on a lower time frame. And beneath this area, we have another um, on the block on the one hour time frame. So this is up to you, right? You can actually try to trade off this area if you are given this schematic that you're looking for. So what do I mean by that? If prices comes back down, clear this level, give you a schematic like this, a liquidation of lows, a breakout, a shift in structure, then you can actually aim for levels over here. But if we see a one directional move where prices just, you know, kind of a bash through this level, then we are going to aim for this level. So why? Because this is the origin of the breakout, right? This isn't the origin of the breakout because you can see that there is a demand zone over here, right? We have a down move that breaks out, which left an unmitigated area over here. So the problem with entering at this level is that if you have a buy and let's say a sell uh, a stop loss below this level right then you aim for this almost this area you do not have a very nice risk to reward okay and prices are likely to move off and if it really wants to come back down to mitigate this level it will have done over here before you can actually go for the last buy demand zone over here. And that is why we are actually considering a move here instead. So for those who want to trade off this H4 level, uh, do please do so on the lower time frame. Otherwise, you'll be waiting for this demand zone to give us the right move, right? So a break of structure first, and this will likely push prices down further into this level. Then you see a breakout, shift in momentum, shift in structure, then pull back into an unmitigated area before along towards this zone. So over here we have the New Zealand dollar. You can clearly see a break of structure, right? Don't move down and prices are now coming back, right? Towards where? Where are prices heading towards? This area over here, right? You can see this last up move that created the high. It liquidated this level as well. So this would definitely be our supply zone, right? So prices are likely to move towards this area. And you can see that we have an imbalance here as well, right? So currently this level. So prices are likely to tap 
into this maybe gives us a down move because of the feel of the imbalance before a move up towards the supply zone so we can either wait for prices to tap into our supply zone give us some sort of a, a distribution or we can wait for buy opportunities into this area right so it depends on the outlook that you're looking at so let's go down to the lower time frame and the hourly so if you're looking for places to buy you want a break of structure and a shift in momentum first that is the very first thing you need to see so prices needs to break this level okay so as prices breaks this level you want to see the creation of liquidity right inside of this level so can you see how prices are mitigating these areas their liquidation of these areas right and as prices breaks this level we want to see a pullback into potential imbalances or unmitigated areas for us to take a lot to take profit here clearing these highs as well as all of these levels eventually tapping into the imbalance so our take profit will definitely be at the imbalance because we may see a move down from here right and you don't want to eat the retracement knowing that prices are likely to get rejected here so our take profit will be at the imbalance area and we'll wait for a sell from then so we will look for a move up into this area to give us some sort of a move down right so we want to see the shift in buyers to sellers inside of this supply area before taking a sell ultimately so wait for a shift in structure a break in momentum and a creation of unmitigated areas for us to participate in the market if you do not see that, then just shift to the high time frame or the lower time frame to adjust accordingly, right? So ultimately, aim towards this level. So over here we have the USD CHF and um, our analysis stays the same. This is the weekly demand zone, right? So can you see that as prices taps into this area, it liquidated positions over here, gives us a strong momentum, a strong buy side move that broke out of structure. So this is an institutional shift. Right, and now prices comes back to the demand zone on the weekly. So we are looking to buy towards where this supply zone at the very least, right? And see what happens from here. So on the weekly zone, this is a huge range, right? This is about um 400 pips, right? So we go down to the daily on the one hour time frame to look for opportunities. So at the daily on the daily time frame, we want to see a shift in momentum, right? So this is the high that created the low. So we want a breakout of this level. Right. So it doesn't matter if prices comes back down to the last positions before an up move. Break of structure comes back down to unmitigated areas and imbalances inside of here. Right? And look for place to buy. And I'll take profit will definitely be areas over here. The highs over here, this area over here, and eventually this last zone over here. So actually we can even refine it further. Right, so this is an order block only daily time frame. Tells the same story. We are still inside of this supply zone, and this just confirms that we are looking for potential sales inside of here. Right, to eventually move higher. Right, so we will see what happens. But this would be the plan for USD CHF. We'll be waiting for a break of structure, a shift in momentum, and a slow climb back into potential unmitigated areas or demand zones over here then it's up to you because this is the four hour or on the daily time frame you can actually dive further into this to look in the 30 minutes or one hour to look for potential buys so what why do we want to do that we want to tighten our stop losses because on the daily time frame or on the four hour your stop loss would be rather huge right maybe about 60 pips or so but on our early time frame if you are we're able to catch a confirmation your maybe your stop loss would be about 30 pips so yeah so lastly we have the gold position you can see that on the daily time frame we have a supply zone over here right so this is the up to down move and we are likely to tap into this level so over here we can look for buys on the lower time frame so if we go down to the hourly time frame we can see that we have a demand zone left over here and we have a very nice uh, trend line over here in terms of um, liquidity so what are prices likely to do prices are likely coming up to grab them right before tapping into this zone and eventually move down so we want to aim for a move that grabs liquidity over here 
So how does prices be delivered towards the upside? There is nothing to buy off here, right? And we are likely to see a move down towards this last demand zone over here. So maybe you can do this as well. You can see that this is a demand zone. And this area may serve as a liquidity grab as well. So understand that this is the demand zone that broke out of structure. And this is the demand zone that broke out of structure, right? So we are looking for either of these zones to give us the right move. So what do I mean by right move? We want to see a creation of liquidity over here, break out and retest into these levels before taking a bite. 